People make my head hurt. You know, what do you mean, you people? People in the press. You overly sensitive people. The only music video by Nicki Minaj. The Nazi imagery. And by you people, I also mean her, because she didn't make it any better. Citing Metalocalypse as an influence. To which Brendan Small, of course, responded by saying, um... If she really needed help with her music video, that all she had to do was ask and acquire a bigger budget, which pretty damn funny, all things considered. Whenever you consider who Nicki Minaj is in the pantheon of the music world and realm and universe right now, and I hear Brendan Small is working on Metalocalypse, very accomplished by his own regard, very, very big show, very, very big enterprise, really, but... Uh, the only music video by Nicki Minaj. Nazi imagery. We gotta react. We gotta respond. I've seen the video. Why? I don't know. I don't know why I decided to put myself through this. I think I wanted to understand what everybody was talking about. What everybody meant. And people could draw some conclusions. People could say some things. This is really something that could be considered considered as justifiable. But I also believe that if you're going to take this big, brash, brazen leap of faith and compare Nicki Minaj to a Nazi, it's like saying that Star Wars is actually just a dramatic retelling of the Bible. Either that or stating that George Carlin asked to be struck down by God in 1999 whenever he made a famous quote and then it happened in 2008. He died, so so obviously God listened. Yeah, doesn't work. God doesn't operate on tape delay. Darth Vader isn't Jesus Christ. And Nicki Minaj, she ain't no Nazi. Imagine how ludicrous that even sounds. Nicki Minaj, a Nazi. Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense, and I'm not even going based off of the stereotypes of what a Nazi is, or the stereotypes of what Nicki Minaj... Imagine if she was. Imagine if if the new Fuhrer, which would be different, considering she's a, a different gender. I I don't know German, so I can't... I, I can't go with mother or whatever. Imagine if she were the leader of now what would be the Fourth Reich. Imagine that. Imagine if big-ass badonkadonk Nicki Minaj or Roman were the new leader of the Fourth Reich. And she was able to enslave little people's minds and, oh, shit. We better tread lightly here. This might offend some people. This might piss some people off because <laughs> this music is so bad, but yet so many people like it. Kind of a weird conclusion to draw. Yeah, sort of works, doesn't it? I'm not going to go there, though. It's it's really not... Well, I guess I've already gone there, so... <laughs> go me. This is crazy. This is insane. Brendan Small had the perfect, perfect response for this. She cited that it was a Metalocalypse reference, that, that there was a lot of inspiration drawn from that because of uh, of a music video that they did, of, of, of things that happened within the show, the fact that it seems like uh, the the Death Clock Army, the, the, the Clock of Tears, the... The fans, the glorified roadies of the band, are sworn in, you know, they basically have become a portion of this, like, gigantic cult of, of Death Clock fans, where they are willing to die for, for their band. Basically, they are the ultimate fans of the ultimate band. Uh, which, whenever you consider the satire, and you consider everything that really broils on underneath the surface there, is hysterical, because there are people out there that literally are... Are, are just like this. Remember the the, the cut for Bieber uh, idea that was circulating online a couple of years ago? Remember that? Remember how crazy that was? Isn't that sort of similar in a weird way? Sure, there maybe wasn't a fancy initiation ritual. You don't get your own, you know, AK-47 to shoot down Death Clock, or, or in this case, Justin Bieber detractors. If that were the case, I wouldn't be making this video right now because I'd be dead. But isn't it kind of similar to that? Isn't the satire kind of richly true here in 2014? Haven't we seen enough where the satire definitely runs deep? 
And I really don't know how this even applies. It almost sounds to me like Minaj is doing a little bit of, of damage control. Like she had a, a menage a trois with her publicist and and perhaps her label, either they're the director of the video, and they concocted a nice little explanation to kind of tone down all of the negative attention that this video has perhaps been getting for really some stupid reasons. In reality, I think that you should... And people should be and were more offended and outraged or just confused by the Anaconda music video, even though, you know, many of these individuals that had a penis were just happy as can fucking be. They probably watched the video on mute and had a good old time. Personally, I'm more pissed off about the song because you might as well just not even call it a Nicki Minaj song. You might as well just call it Baby Got Back Part 2 featuring Nicki Minaj by Sir mix -a -Lot. And he basically just decides to sing his song again, only Nikki decides to rap over it, and they do a little remix of it. That's more offensive to me, the fact that that's art, the fact that that's something that, that became a huge song, a huge hit. Sir mix -a -Lot, I hope the hell, got like just trillions of dollars for this, because if he didn't, that's bullshit. If he didn't, that's bullshit, because that's one of the main reasons why this had draw and allure, and, aside from the music video. This is one of the reasons why this was an attraction, why this was big, because it was familiar. It was something that we knew. We've been talking whenever I've done the top 10 worst songs on Now albums on how songs these days have really been, been, been very focused on that which is familiar to us. Those things that we've heard as children, those, those sing-songy little you know, melodies that you hear as a child and now are being incorporated in the songs to kind of give them a little bit of a, of a reminiscence factor. Something where you can think back to hearing these same beats and it, it's, it's like you've already met the song. So you already kind of like it. This is kind of the same case with the Anaconda uh, music video and song, considering it was a song that just about everybody knows. If you've been to a club, if you've been to a school dance, if you've been anywhere that isn't you know, going to be offended by liking big butts and not lying about it, because really this should be something that's at Christian schools too, because you know it's encouraging people not to lie. It's encouraging people to be very truthful and honest, and that's a good Christian moral value. Liking big butts, that might be a little bit lustful, but we're one step at a time. Let's let's really not get over the top here. I know I'm going off on a complete and total tangent whenever I'm supposed to be reacting to the only music video, but there's nothing really to say. There's nothing really to... This is... This feels fabricated. This feels forced. This feels like a couple of people in the media decided to seize hold of something that they noted. Something that, again, looked familiar whenever... And in this case, it's their idea of Nazi imagery, their idea of, uh, of a Nazi idea, the armbands, and decides to run with it. Is this what the media is these days? And the answer to that question is actually an emphatic yes. That's exactly what this is. It's to the point where you really can't have a grand artistic vision, especially if you're an artist that's in the public eye on the constant without it being critiqued harshly by individuals, and it really restricts your freedom. It really restricts your ability as an artist. In fact, it, it goes from restriction to actually it becoming a reason why you do these things. You do it to become controversial. You do it to attract the attention, because it creates the buzz. You know, somebody once asked me why I never seemed to be bothered by people who talked ill of me. Why I never responded to people who just put me down in comments. It's press. Yeah, it's terrible that that's what it is, but it's the truth. Every person that comes to a video, knowing that they are going to be pissed at me, knowing that their one sole purpose is just to write a mean comment, it's press, it's a view. It's a unit sold, so to speak. The same can be applied with this. This music video attracts attention, much like the Anaconda music video did. Whenever the pink print comes out, yes, that's right, the pink print. First it's Sir mix -a -Lot, now it's apparently Nazi Germany, and now she's got to rip off Jay-Z. When will the parody fucking end? Whenever the pink print comes out later this month, the timing is right. The buzz is there. People will remember that Nicki Minaj has new music out. And whenever the album comes out, they'll get it. They'll consume it, they'll want it, and they'll go to the places where they can get the dirty and raw version, which is good for us, sucks for Walmart, fuck you guys. 
Nobody wants to parody you because you're just assholes. But that's it. That is it. The long and short of it is, is that this is something that happened not by mistake. This is how, something that happened by design. Brendan Small's reaction, huh, that happened basically as a happy accident. But the response and everything, you could even say that this music video was designed to have in something that was going to call attention to Nicki Minaj. And it was going to happen just in time for the pink print to drop, which it will in about two weeks. So yeah, do I believe that there's imagery in here? Sure, why not? I'll throw my hat into the wind. I'm actually helping here. I'm helping her here. I'm giving her press and attention. I should be ashamed of myself, but you know what? I'm not. I'm not. Because, quite frankly, whenever it all comes down to it, it is the consumer's, the consumer, the consumer's choice of what they consume. I may wish that the consumer were a bit more intelligent and went for a product that was a little less retarded, but that's not up to me. I am not the god and deity of music that determines what should be listened to and what should not be. I merely make suggestions and offerings. So, will the consumer go out and purchase this? You better believe it. Will they enjoy it? Who knows? There's my face. Here's my face whenever I listen to anything that's Nicki Minaj worthy. If you find this enjoyable, you're an idiot. Get some taste in music and stop looking for things that aren't there. That's all I gotta say.